Hi everyone and welcome back to the Chili Full Guide. Today I'm gonna tell you about yet another museum in Santiago, Chile. This is the Museum of Contemporary Art. Uh, for short in Spanish it's called MAC, M-A-C. It's located in Quinta Normal. This museum is located in the park Quinta Normal and it's right near the metro station Quinta Normal. So you can go there by metro or if you prefer you can come by car, by taxi or by bus. Uh, there is a bus stop right next to it and there is a parking near the museum. The parking is not free of charge. It's one of the city's major museums and it was created in 1947. It's run by the University of Chile Faculty of Arts, just like the Museo de Bellas Artes that is in Parque Forestal. So the museum is this MAC museum. is separated in two, one in Parque Forestal and another one is Quinta Normal. The museum specializes in modern and contemporary art and focuses on the development, study and dissemination of modern art through exhibitions and other activities. This museum also has the collection of more than 2,000 pieces and files. So it's also protecting the cultural heritage of Chile. When we were there, as you can see, there was a very uh, nice disposition. It wasn't that big though. So on the first floor, you could see this tent and there is like the experience of the biggest earthquake that has ever happened in Chile. So you can go there and then like the platform is shaking, there is the sound, there is image, lights, everything. So it's very visual. There were several uh, rooms dedicated to the COVID and COVID victims and people talking about how they got COVID, how they dealt with it and everything. It's in photos and videos. Another part of museum uh, had the exposition about the Pikachu and it said like goodbye Pikachu, adios Pikachu. And it had a gigantic Pikachu balloon there <laughs> and some pictures in another room. And I guess the most favorite room, at least by my child, was the room uh, with plants because there you saw some plastic insects. Uh, it was very entertaining and engaging, like you can write something, you have like uh, a puzzle that you can make, you can like sit down there, read about something, share your th thoughts and emotions, read what other people wrote before you. Uh, so that room was very engaging and it was really interesting. And in another room, uh, there is one of the permanent exposition, which is a tank made completely of wood. As I said, the museum was created in 1947 and the building that we are in right now, it's known as El Partenon in Quinta Normal Park. Its main purpose was to promote and serve as a platform for spreading the work of contemporary artists as part of the University of Chile's policy to contribute to the development of cultural life in Chilean society. Uh, the museum has not only Chilean artists, but also the international ones. You can always go to their web page to see which exhibitions are there right now, some plans that they have, master classes that they held, and some concerts. Uh, before there was this museum in the Partenon in Quinta Normal, uh, there was another museum which was actually the first museum in Chile and in the America. And it was opened in 1885. And it originally displayed the works of a group of Chilean painters headed by Pedro Lira. And in 1910, this museum moved to the Museum of uh, Bellas Artes in Parque Forestal. And this building was abandoned. And it was used as the school, as gymnasium, as storage place. But then in the 1945, the painter Marco Aurelio Bonta Costa he recovered the building for the arts, and in 1947 he opened the Museum of Contemporary Art. In 1995 this building was damaged by the earthquake, uh, so you might see even some works being held right now. If you're planning to visit this museum, like this museum is not very big, it's still one of the biggest ones for contemporary art in Chile. So if you're interested in the modern art, then definitely visit it. 
especially because the expositions are always new. But if you want to combine it with some other activities, next to it, uh, there is a huge Parque Quinta Normal, which is one of the biggest parks in Santiago. Uh, then inside the park, you have the Museum of the National History, which contains like all the animals that live in Chile based on the areas. And also they're quite close. There is a library, the Santiago Library that you can visit. And two more museums, which are a little bit further. One is the Museum of the Sound and another is the Museum of Gabriela Mistral. I will tell you about each and every place in other videos. So if you want to visit this museum and you have like a lot of energy and the whole day maybe, <laughs> uh, then yeah, definitely watch the other videos to see how you can plan better your visit to Quinta Normal. Uh, because there is also like the Museum of the Human Rights right inside the metro station Quinta Normal. So this metro, like this neighborhood, is full of history, full of museums that you can visit. So definitely go there at least once during your visit to Santiago. And trust me, you will not regret it. That was all for today. Thank you so much for watching and staying with me through this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.